So this is going to be a quick video about how to use a converter with your Sailor fountain pen. In this case, I have a new Sailor 1911, a uh, pretty standard Sailor pen. This is the 14K version. These can be had very affordably if you buy them off the internet. And here I have a Sailor ink converter. Sailor only sells the single ink converter. So this is the one I got, bought this one uh, also off the internet. These things sell for maybe like six or seven dollars. It might come with your pen, it might not. It depends on how you buy it, who you buy it from, and all that sort of stuff. So here goes. And just for the record, this is not the Rialo. The Sailor Rialo pens are piston filled. This one is a cartridge converter. It includes a couple of cartridges, uh, but like I said, not all of them include the converter. Really simple, we're gonna open this up. And it should just slide out of here non-destructively. It's nice, not that we were to reuse the packaging, but I guess you could. Just uh, Directions for use, very simple. You insert it, you twist it. Uh, and it says don't put the converter in the ink. I know some people do that. They think it's a good idea, which it's less messy. It ends up being less messy some of the time, but when it's messy, it gets real bad real quick. So uh, definitely don't do that. Here is the Sailor converter. Just a bit of plastic, a little bit of metal, and then a uh, screw style converter. Pretty good action, no problems with that. This is not very big, and this is one of the problems people have with Sailor pens, the converter. It's just not a very large one. I think I have one around here somewhere. Yeah, for example, here is a, a Pilot Con 70, which is like a very big converter as these things go. But you can see the remarkable difference between the two. Installing the converter is very simple. You just unscrew the pen, unscrew the nib and feed, or the section, whatever you want to call it. And this is just a piece of metal here. Can't really see inside with the lighting, uh, but there's another little piece in there that fits right here. And this is a proprietary shape, so you are not gonna be able to use a Pilot Con 70 or something like that. You wanna just push this in pretty firmly really nothing to break here, but don't jam it in too hard. And that's really it. Some people like to flush their new pens with water, then let it dry and flush it and clean it. Uh, it's generally a good practice, not always strictly necessary. Kind of depends on who you're buying your pen from. Uh, now we're gonna get to the ink. Uh, I'm gonna go with this Pilot ink. This is the Sukuyo. And I haven't used this one in a while. I think it's a black or maybe a dark blue. I can't really tell. Yeah, it's a dark blue. So now we will dip this. Push that piston all the way down. Pick the piston all the way up. Get a pretty good draw. Usually you're gonna wanna do that again. and you'll get a little bit of a better draw. Now is the point where things can get a little messy and you're gonna to wanna to have a paper towel or something here. I tend to keep some extra paper around just for this moment. You're gonna to wanna to put your bottle cap on. If you spill one of these bottles, it is bad news and you might as well just throw your entire office away. You see, you get some ink on there. And I had a paper towel around. Give this thing a little bit of a wipe down, being careful not to smear it too much. Mainly you wanna get it off the section here, that grip area that your fingers are gonna to touch. Past that, it's really just aesthetics.
Oh, there. You can see it was a pretty good fill in that dark blue ink. This is the blue black. I always forget. It's a Sukio. Screw it in. See, it was a little bit on there. Not a big deal. And it's writing already. That's quite nice. So this is a Sailor 1911 fountain pen. This is a medium. And this is with the converter. And this is a Sailor converter. Sailor uses proprietary components, so you can't use a pilot converter or an international standard or some other converter with your Sailor. So that's it, that's how to install a converter and refill your Sailor fountain pen. Fountain pen. I will be doing a deep review of this 1911 in the coming weeks. Thanks for watching.